KCRA 3 News at 11 starts right now. New tonight, a woman hit by a car and left for dead in Sacramento, and she was on the sidewalk when it happened. It's scary that you can just be minding your own business, walking down a sidewalk, and a car can, can come up from behind you and run you over. Tonight, Sacramento police have two mysteries on their hands. Not only are they looking for a driver who didn't stop, they're also trying to identify the victim. The hit and run happened on Arcade Boulevard and Palmer Street. That's near Del Paso Boulevard, and that's where we find KCR 3's Kevin Oliver. Kevin, what's the latest? Well, they still don't know the identity of this woman. She didn't have any ID on her. Some of the neighbors who saw the aftermath of this said that all of her belongings were thrown into one of the yards over here, and they believe that she was actually homeless at the time that she was hit, but she was on the sidewalk just about 24 hours ago when she was struck. Neighbors say cars whip around this curve so fast they see and hear crashes regularly. Yeah. Last night's crash brought Ed Mills outside, and at first, nobody could see the victim lying on the ground in the dark. She was hit right there in that driveway area. Police say a woman walking down Arcade Boulevard around 11.30 Friday night was struck by a car that veered off the road and hit her on the sidewalk. Witnesses said after the woman fell off the hood of the car, the driver kept on going. Authorities say she suffered severe head wounds and several broken bones. There's no way you could hit a person and not know it and drag them 100 feet. Of course he knew it. Based on debris left at the scene, police believe the suspect's car was a dark gray 2000 to 2004 Ford Taurus. It's going to have major damage to the front of the car, maybe the front passenger side, possibly the windshield, and it's missing a passenger side mirror. Neighbors say they hope the driver is not only found, but that more is done to slow down other drivers through this neighborhood. People that ain't got cars that are trying to walk, you know, people that got a car going to run them over, that's not right. That's not right. And keep going. You know, you don't do that to people. Now, the speed limit through this area is 35 miles per hour. In fact, uh, some of the witnesses believe that the car's bumper or fender may have struck the 35 mile per hour sign down there, just about the same point where the driver struck the woman. And I can tell you just from being out here, it looks like a lot of cars are going a lot faster than 35 miles per hour through this part of town. Reporting live in Sacramento, Kevin Oliver, KCRA 3 News. And hopefully they find the person responsible. All right, Kevin, thanks. Sorry.